Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. Scripts are a way of uh, automating BricsCAD by entering in commands that you would have to type. Well, a script uh, reads them, the commands from a file and, uh, and then performs the actions for you. So for example, here I've already typed the word circle and then I'm going to enter in uh, uh, the coordinates and the size and there's this little circle drawn. Now, it's not a particularly exciting example, but uh, it basically shows you what a script's capable of. Anything you can type at the command prompt, you can put into a script. What you can't put into a script are things that involve uh, dialog boxes, uh, palettes and so on, um, mouse actions, none of that works. Just commands and their options at the command prompt. This is a multi-part tutorial because uh, there's a lot to show you, so let's get started. BricsCAD uh, provides a tool for recording scripts and you'll find them under the tools menu. And there's a trio of commands there, one for recording scripts, uh, another one to stop the recording, and finally one for running the script. So uh, let's see how the record script command works. I'm going to select record script and first thing it does is ask me for the, the name of the file to save it under and I'll type something like uh, my first script. And you can see this dialog box I've already created another script which I could run if I wanted to but uh, in the meantime I'm going to uh, save this and now it is recording everything I type at the command line. In this tutorial we're going to write a little script that uh, creates uh, a border around the drawing using the rectangle command. So let me enter in the uh, rectangle command and it's going to start at 0 comma 0 and the other corner will be at 36 comma 24 and there it is there. I'm going to zoom to the extents to see the whole thing and now I'm going to stop the script, so I'll go to Tools, Stop Recording. To show how this script works when it runs, I'm going to start a new drawing and then uh, open up that script file with the Run Script command. So there I've selected it, uh, there's my first script, open, and uh, fast and you can say, uh, Johnny be good. The rectangle is in place and it's been zoomed to extents. So there you can see just how powerful a script can be to automate your drawings. Now let's take a look inside of a script file and uh, see what it looks like. You're going to find them under the uh, documents library, my drawings, and there's that script file that I wrote just now. So I'm going to drag it into Notepad here and have a look. And you can see that it consists of exactly what I typed it at the command prompt. There's rectangle that I typed, and then there's the coordinates of the rectangle I typed. The Z there, well, that's the alias for zoom, and all I had typed was the Z, not the actual zoom command. E is the abbreviation for extents. And then finally, I had selected the stop script command from the menu bar. So uh, you could see how it's possible to now go into the script file, edit it, to uh, perform other functions. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, let's take a look at this other script I wrote earlier, and it draws an A size vertical boundary. So there you can see again the uh, abbreviation for the rectangle command, the coordinates for an A size piece of paper, and then stopping the script again. Remember to only use something like Notepad to edit because a word processor will insert its own formatting codes and BricsCAD won't understand those, so just Notepad. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.